again, everybody. I'm Jim Leahy, along with Rick Blangiardi. Rick, tonight the Rainbows try to rebound from the loss against Air Force last week, 24 to 17. They go up against Wisconsin. Could it be that they are out of the frying pan into the fire? Very well, it could be, Jim. I tell you, the power of Wisconsin is a thing that we're going to have to watch early on. The running of Amitraut and Emery, and I think the quarterback play of Howard are all really tough people behind a very big offensive line. The defense, they boast a uh, defense that could be one of the best in the Big Ten. They do, particularly in the linebacker core. They're very active. They're all over the place. They have a number of kids who have been selected for postseason honors already, particularly all Big Ten, so you know that they're quality athletes. Greg Tipton must have a good night tonight. You agree with that? Absolutely. I think the Greg's first half last week, uh, the Bows, if they were to have another half like that against this kind of an opponent, would be in much bigger trouble than they were a week ago. So it should be one of the biggest tests that the Bows face all year long, but they are at home here at Aloha Stadium. When we return, we'll have the opening kickoff tonight between Wisconsin and Hawaii. Stay with us, everybody. KHNL's presentation of Rainbow Football is sponsored by the Miller Brewing Company, makers of Miller High Life, made the American way. Light beer from Miller. When it comes to taste, there's only one light. And Lowenbrow. This world calls for Lowenbrow. And by Bank of Hawaii. All season long, it's all the hottest action with the University of Hawaii Rainbows. Bank of Hawaii is proud to bring you the best. Captains have appeared here at Aloha Stadium for tonight's referee and crew. The referee is Guy Gibbs, the umpire John Bradley, the linesman Bill Malone, the line judge is David Hedderma, the field judge is Don Day, the sideline judge is Jim Saracino, and the back judge is Ray Hale. The captains for the Rainbows, David Dias and Colin Scott. And for Wisconsin, linebacker Greg Raditz and running back Joe Armentrout. And Wisconsin has come out of the near tunnel. Rainbows are pouring out of the far tunnel and gathering in front. And you will hear the roar when they come out. They're letting Wisconsin run out onto the field. And look for Wisconsin to be very emotional early on. Very, very fired up. The Bows are going to have to deal with that. That's another factor. They're going to have to take that enthusiasm and that emotion and gain the momentum. Wisconsin fans cheering. Let's go red. They have, I guess, a battalion of cheerleaders. That's the biggest cheerleading squad I've ever seen. They can yeah. fill up a, a mini section in a stadium. Well, they got those big stadiums, especially with Wisconsin. They put 75,000 people in their home stadium. And, uh, and, they, and they usually do a good job of filling it. They need that many cheerleaders. Here come the Bows. Captains are meeting in the center of the field. And the coin has been tossed by Guy Gibbs. The Rainbows won the toss last week against Air Force, but they declined it. Apparently the Rainbows have again been able to win the toss. Guy Gibbs steps away, Rainbows win the toss, they decline. And they will have their choice in the second half. They like the defense. They like the defense. I want to mention, Jim, a lot of extra players down here in the field tonight, this being a non-WAC conference game. I believe we have 70 being dressed from uh, Wisconsin. And, and everybody, everybody from the Rainbows. Yes. Everybody from the Rainbows. All the guys that work throughout preseason are all here tonight. So Wisconsin will receive. They will move from Pearl City toward Honolulu, from our left to our right, from north to south here at Aloha Stadium. And the first home opener for the Rainbows about to get underway, Wisconsin in white jerseys, red numbers, white helmets with a big W on the side, two red stripes, four and a half. Red pants with the two white stripes down the side. The Rainbows in their home green jerseys, white helmets, white pants with a rainbow trim. Who's Wisconsin remind you of? Just look at that in a glance. Uh, if you just glance at them, Nebraska. You got it. Boy, I tell you. And they got the same kind of guys. Big guys, big legs, legs as big as most people's waist. I don't know where they find guys like that. Rainbows will kick off as we're just about ready for both teams to go out onto the field for the start of tonight's game. Tracy Rutkowski will kick off for the Rainbows. Wisconsin still huddling up down below us. Lower Stadium resplendent tonight and the stadium lights shining down on the field. The Rainbow helmets 
painted on the surface in the center of the field as it is yet another year. So the Rainbows now come out ready to kick off and Wisconsin huddling up at midfield and then they will break to receive the kick. This year they are kicking off from the 35 yard line. Glad you're with us wherever you may be throughout the 50th state. Also watching on television tonight on Prime Ticket throughout Southern California. We welcome you. Hope this telecast and also radio broadcast finds you well. Rutkowski getting ready to kick off. Bobby Taylor is back deep along with Nate Odoms. Odoms is the leading kickoff returner for Wisconsin. Odom to the far side and Bobby Taylor to the near side. Rutkowski kicking off from the near hash mark. Approaches the ball, high end over end kick, it is short. Taylor takes it on the 14 yard line, the 15, the 20, a big hole, the 30, stumbles over his own man and down he goes at the 35 yard line. Ricky may have broken the, he could have broken it, Jim, he just got one, somebody tripped him up. I think it might have been David Maiva that tripped him up, the freshman linebacker, but had he gotten by that, he was up the sideline and gone, Jim, amazing quickness. First down for Wisconsin, the ball was returned 21 yards by Bobby Taylor. Here comes Wisconsin. Out of a huddle, I formation. To the far side is Reginald Tompkins. In that I formation, Armand Trout and Emery. Quarterback is Mike Howard. First and 10 from the 35. Ball is given to the tailback, Emery. He's hit by Al Moga. A loss on the play from the 35 back to the 33. Moga appeared out of nowhere. That's the quickness, Jim, that we've talked about. That's going to be the matchup again. Hawaii, not that small either, but physically perhaps quicker. Nonga just getting through untouched in the backfield, making the sack behind the line of scrimmage. Loss on the play now, they say, back to the 34. Second down and 11. James Ross is flanked to the far side. And to the near side is Reginald Tompkins. Again, the I formation. Howard back to pass. Looks up the far sideline. Checks off. Has the time. Now chased out of the pocket by Nunga. He's running to the far side, and down he goes. ML Johnson hit him on the far sideline back at the 32. A loss of two. And credit the secondary. They locked in beautifully because Howard had the time, but there was nowhere to go. And then the linebackers came up and forced him out of bounds. And so much for Jim Hill is saying, I don't care if we don't throw a pass all night on second down. You know, coaches comes. are like that. I can't stand them. That's why I got out of the business. What can I tell you? He told us yesterday, well, if we never have to throw, we won't. Second play of the game. <laughs> he tries to put it in the air. Excellent defense so far by the Rainbow. Third down. Third down and 13 from the 32. Four, Wisconsin. Ball is given up the middle. Big hole. The 35, the 40, the 42-yard line. Joe Armantraz carrying right up the middle. Good blocking up front by Solomon Ashby, Rodney Laszlo, and Glenn Derby. But it is short of the first down. That's a good first series. That's the way to open up for Hawaii. Excellent first series by the defense. It will be fourth down for Wisconsin. Scott Shapiki in the two do the punting average 42 yards of punt last season as long as the 66 david sparger is the long snapper back deep for the rainbows as marco johnson just gets the kick away it's a spiral johnson comes to the near side feels it at the 15 yard line dances to the 20 and they triple team him right there first down for the rainbows at the 20. but that's an improvement from what we saw last week marco doing a nice job of taking that ball in the open field 42-yard punch, 4-yard return, 3.5 seconds hang time. It's not a bad punch. So first down for the Rainbows, Greg Tipton is the quarterback. The running backs, William Bell and Danny Crow. Five-man defensive front for Wisconsin. Out of the huddle come the Rainbows. Tight end lines up on the far side. Dias wide to the near side along with Coldine Walsh. Back to pass is Tipton. Fakes the play action. Sets up the screen to William Bell. Has it at the 20. To the 25. Down he goes at the 26. He fumbles the ball. And let's see. No. There won't be a fumble, Jim. The ground cannot cause a fumble. Bell was down. So the, the ball should be marked down. I don't think they're going to call that a fumble. So the Rainbows on the first play from scrimmage, they put it up. A complete pass. Tipton to William Bell. They set up the, sub, the center screen. He goes all the way to the 26-yard line. Greg Raditz. Defensive player of the year for Wisconsin in 1985, that linebacker, 116 tackles last season. He makes the stop for Wisconsin. Second down and four for the Rainbows at their own 26. Again, the I formation. Pitch to the near side, William Bell. William Bell to the 30, to the 31. That's enough for a first down. Good blocking by the Rainbows. That's probably a better looking play than we saw all last week. Good execution. 
That time, Wisconsin was in a slide defense. They even overplayed it to the strong side. Hawaii went right into the strength of that defense and was able to pick up a first down because of a great block in the front. Nate Odoms, number 38, 5'10", 190 out of Columbus, Georgia, came up from his cornerback position to make the stop. Ball resting just over the 31-yard line, wide side of the field, is to the right. Again, the eye formation. Chris Gaskell and Coldine Walsh, double wide receiver, sets up to the right side. Long count by Tipton. Now he audibilizes at the line of scrimmage. First and 10 from their 31. Tipton gives it to the tailback, William Bell. He's hit at the 30, spun down there. Excellent play by Wisconsin. Dick Teets, 6'4", 260, defensive lineman out of Maumee, Ohio. There to make the stop. Lost on the play of one. It will be second down and 11, and Teets was right there. Yeah, Teets is a big man, too, at 6'4", 260. He showed great quickness. He just broke into the, just shot the gap and got in there, unblocked. Second down, and about 11 and a half for the Rainbows. Coldine Walsh flanked to the right, split to the left as David Dias, double coverage on Dias. They shift out of the eye in the split back. Back to pass as Tipton steps up in the pocket, throws over the middle. It is complete to Ron Hall, the tight end, at the 36-yard line. Short of the first down, Hall loses his helmet. Hall out of Escondido, California, 6'4", 225-pound senior. Two pass receptions last week for 22 yards against their four. Key point, though, I think, Jim, early on now, Tipton's drilling the ball real tough into Hall, throwing a couple of passes, completing his first two attempts. Good percentage situations on the screen to Bell. That time, the crossing to Hall. Good way to get Greg started tonight. Raditz, again, covered on the play. The All-Big Ten linebacker, Marco Johnson, David Dias. Split left and right. They shift from split backs back into the eye. Back to pass as Tipton steps up, looks. Tipton throws, it's complete to Kroll, he's at the 39, he's at the 40. But well, we have a penalty flag in the backfield of the Rainbow. And that's usually some kind of hands penalty against the offense. Charlie Foley out of Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Linebacker on the right side, 6'2", 225 pounds. Senior made the stop on Danny Kroll. Penalty against the Rainbow. Got a holding penalty on the preliminary. They'll probably decline it, Jim, being that it was third down. We'll see. Guy Gibbs talking it over with Raditz, the Wisconsin captain. And we'll see whether Wisconsin will take the penalty for holding. Gibbs still talking to him. They're going to decline it. 10 minutes, 21 seconds left. Here's Guy Gibbs. Holding on the offensive team. Decline. Fourth down. So it will be fourth down for the Rainbows. And coming in to do the punting will be Kyle Alou. Alou punted eight times against Air Force for a 36.9 yard average. Longest punt from scrimmage was 50 yards. And Alou comes into this ball game with great responsibility tonight. Joe Armantrout and Nate Odoms back deep for Wisconsin. Odoms drops back inside the 20. Low snap from center. Gets the kick away. It's a beauty. Waiting for it. And taking the ball is Odoms at the 16. He's at the 20. He goes nowhere. They steal him off and drop him at the 20-yard line. Real good coverage. Real good coverage by the punt team. 42-yard punt, four-second hang time, only a two-yard return. And you can credit the team for hustling down there. Aaron Carnet and Patrick McCray coming up with the tackles. Nine minutes, and, nine minutes and 56 seconds remaining to be played in the first quarter. No score between Wisconsin and Hawaii. This is the Rainbow Football Network. Nine minutes and 56 seconds left in the first quarter. No score between the Rainbows and Wisconsin. Out of the huddle comes Wisconsin. First down from their 20. I formation. Mike Howard is the quarterback. Looks over a four-man front by the Rainbows. Howard counting in motion. Goes Tompkins. Ball is given to the tailback. And hit at the 20, maybe to the 21-yard line. That's all for Larry Emery. Encouraging sign early on to Hawaii showed not only good quickness but good strength against that formidable offensive line for Wisconsin. That time, Jim, they just neutralized the entire line of scrimmage. Everett Wade, six feet even, 231 pounds, senior out of Carson, California, made the first hit for the Rainbow. Second down and nine yards to go for Wisconsin. James Ross and Reginald Tompkins are the wide receivers. Ross to the near side, Tompkins to the far side. Back to pass. Throws as he's hit. The ball. Intercept, oh, almost uh, intercepted by Jefferson after it bounced off of Reginald Tompkins at the 30, rather at the 26-yard line. Great pressure by Fona, the nose guy that time. Just got in there, just kept coming, and forced Howard to throw that pass early on. And as you said, it was nearly intercepted. Good pressure defense by Hawaii. So Reginald Tompkins cutting over the middle 
on the crossing pattern. The ball incomplete. It will be third down and nine. They come out in split backs. Double wide receiver to the far side. Mike Howard, the quarterback, looks over a four-man front for the Rainbows. Back to pass. Has the time. Now he's being pressured. Hit by Monga and dropped inside the 15-yard line at the 13. Nunga went right by the defender, took the route directly to the quarterback, and nailed Howard inside the 15 at the 14. Eight sacks thus far for Al Nunga. Not tonight, obviously, but that time coming up with his first first tonight, it was just on great athletic ability. Just lost on the blocker. Loss of seven. Topeki in the try of the punt now for Wisconsin, standing back at the goal line. It is fourth down and 16. High snap from center. Rainbows almost block it. A high kick comes out over midfield. Great kick. Back in the board is Michael Johnson. Takes it on the 32. To the 35. To the 40. To the 45. Keeps his legs going over the 45 to the 48-yard line. Good field position for the Rainbows. Excellent punt by Chepecki of Wisconsin. We look at the scoreboard. 8.28 remaining to be played in the first quarter. Wisconsin nothing. Hawaii nothing. This is the Rainbow Football Network. Rainbows will put the ball in play first and 10 from their own 47 yard line. Double wide receiver sets up to the far side. David Dias to the near side. Tipton, the quarterback, split backs behind him. Looks over a four man front. Tipton, short drop. Looks to the sideline. Throws. It's complete to Walsh. And he is inside Wisconsin territory. Knocked out of bounds just short of the 48 yard line. Cole Dean Walsh. Tipton is now four for four in passer. And throwing the ball with a lot of authority and a lot of confidence. And that's what Greg needed early on. Now he's four for four, as you said just to gain that momentum. Good percentage passes, and that time hitting Walsh just on an out pattern in the flat. Nate Odoms came up to make the stop for Wisconsin. Second down and five for the Rainbows. Actually, make it second and six. William Bell and Heikoti Fakava now in the eye formation. Bell the tailback, Fakava the fullback. They pitch the Bell, sweep to the far side. Bell is hit at the line of scrimmage, and down he goes. Great defense by Wisconsin. They stonewalled him right at the line of scrimmage. I think it was a nose guard. Michael Boykins out of Norfolk, Virginia. Six feet even, 250-pound nose guard. Three-year letterman. Bell trying to go up the right side with the power, but Boykins just gets in there, and suddenly there's a, just a wall of red and white uh, uniforms. Nowhere for Bell to go. It will be third down and four. Bell picked up about a yard and a half on the last play. Rainbows come out and split back. David Dias and Colding Walsh are the wide receivers. William Bell and Fakaba in the backfield behind. Tipton looks over a six-man front. Backs up, looks over the middle. Now throws, short pattern, incomplete. Overthrew William Bell, and we have a penalty call. Well, it was thrown in the backfield, Jim. And it might be a holding penalty situation, but I could have thought, I thought Dias got hit out there. One of the Rainbows is still down. That's Leo Goes. Goes was hampered by the hamstring coming in to this game. He is also playing with a broken hand, and the preliminary indication is that the penalty is against the Rainbow. He looks like he's hurt pretty badly. He's just lying face down, not moving a whole lot. That's a tough break for Leo. It's going to be a holding penalty against Hawaii. It'll be declined and they bring up a fourth down again, punting situation. But concern now for Leo Goas. Goas with his right hand heavily wrapped. I mean, he looks like he's carrying a punching bag around with him. You know, he's such a good athlete. You know, and such high expectations for Leo this year. And he's just been plagued, plagued by these injuries. It's a good shot of his his arm down there and it just uh, looks like an oversized boxing glove taped on it's uh, but it's something with his right leg I think Jim is what they're looking at his right knee so Leo has not had uh, one of those two a day drills and fall practices in which he is injury free he has had injury after injury and here he is lying on his back just short of midfield at Aloha Stadium first home opener and apparently it is the knee and they are looking at it very carefully. Leo is still down. For Jim Hillis and Wisconsin, of course, this is a big game for him. It is his first game ever as a head coach on a Division I level. Hillis taking over for the deceased Dave McClain. Tragedy that Hillis now says that Wisconsin will always remember, but they have put that behind them. You know, it's really interesting, too, looking into Jim Hillis. 29 years in the coaching profession. Spent two years earlier, I think, in a high school situation as a head coach. His first time in a Division I football program. That's a long time, Jim, to be involved in coaching football to get your break. And it was strange how he did get the break to become the head coach. 
obviously you can imagine what has gone on inside his mind today as they got ready for this ball game. That's true. 7.39 left in the first period. No score. Kyle Alou back to do the punting. Larry Jones doing the snapping now. He's the long snapper for the Rainbows. They will alternate tonight. Ball lazily comes back to him. Alou gets the kick away. High kick. Bounces on the 20. Takes a rainbow bounce to the 15. And now rolls upfield to the 16. And the Rainbows down at their first and 10. 